shall discuss some common myths about cancer and especially with diet. First and foremost, the biggest myth is sugar feeds cancer cells. It is partially true that cancer cell requires more glucose and uh, their glucose uh, consumption is very high. As well, excess sugar consumption leads to obesity which may cause difficulty in cancer surgery and uh, tolerance of chemotherapy. But if there is no evidence that by sugar consumption your cancer cell increase will increase or you have increased risk of cancer metastasis. Second, alkaline water or alkaline food. It is also partially true that internal environment of cancer cell is partly acidic but consumption of alkaline water or alkaline food in high amount doesn't contribute to anything in changing this environment and anyone who is promoting online order is most likely selling their products only and it's only business model. Third, uh, consumption of soya products increase breast cancer risk. Soya products contain estrogen like substances and uh, estrogen increases breast cancer risk for especially hormone positive breast cancer. But there is no direct evidence that soya food which contains estrogen like substances uh, increases breast cancer risk. Fourth, superfoods. There are some foods available which may prevent cancer or which will treat cancer or which can cure cancer. As of now, there is no scientific evidence that such food is available on this earth and uh, we should consume nutritious balanced diet which help in maintaining our body and help in maintain fighting against cancer or its treatment but uh, should not waste our money on such super food. Two more uh, myths, cancer is spread increases by taking biopsy. Biopsy is a standard procedure for cancer diagnosis and uh, apart from few stage 1 cancers which are completely capsulated, most cancer needs biopsy before their treatment and uh, taking biopsy doesn't increase their risk. Inherently, cancer is a disease where it has potential to spread. And last one, cancer is a contagious disease. Cancer is not a contagious disease by taking care of cancer patients, staying with cancer patients, eating with cancer patients and a lot of you other people doesn't get that cancer infection or that increasing cancer risk doesn't increase. But if a patient is on chemotherapy treatment, he may get infected from other people. So that's why the patient requires isolation but cancer is not a contagious disease. Thank you.